What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Caught presented by Catfish. This one's a special one because we've got our new co-host in the building, Jen. Hey guys. Today we'll be covering an internet fraudster on the run from a jail term while flaunting his lavish lifestyle with the stolen money through Instagram posts. 32-year-old Sami Raja from London faced eight years in prison. He went on the run and fled to Dubai before he was able to get sentenced. He was in Dubai by November 2017, according to his Instagram post. While he was on the run, he posted about his lavish lifestyle while living in Dubai, showing off expensive designer clothes, jewelry, and foreign cars. Just three days before his sentence, he was posting pictures on his Instagram, living it up in the resort in the Maldives. Another picture he posted via Instagram read, Ain't nobody burst in my bubble. The fraudster is currently appealing his sentence and is being allowed to live in the Middle East by the Crown Prosecution Service. This pissed off his victims because Raja was living such a luxurious life while on the run. Dennis Smith, who lost 250000 to Raja's carbon credit scam, said, The way Raja is living now makes you sick. Mateo, so how did this guy make so much money? Well, Raja and his accomplices started two companies, Harman Royce LTD and Kendrick Zale LTD. They targeted wealthy men and women over the age of 50 years old living in London and duped their victims into handing over their life savings by posing as a broker, selling them useless carbon credits for 25 times over the market value. The ultimate goal of carbon credits is to reduce the emission of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere and preserve our planet. Raja and his gang frauded over 130 people and made out with $2.5 million. People were giving up their whole life savings thinking they were helping the planet but were just funding this guy's vacations. 50-year-old Kevin Cresswell, who invested 300000 quoted, It's ridiculous. How can he just disappear after he ripped so many people off? These victims received unsolicited calls from Raja's brokers who used high-pressure sales techniques to persuade them into investing. His Instagram has now been deleted. I hope they catch this guy. Seems pretty evil. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comment section down below if you think eight years in prison is enough punishment for stealing hundreds of people's life savings. For more in-depth details on this case, please feel free to check out the blog linked in the description down below. For teasers on new episodes, be sure to follow us on our other social media pages. Hit that notification bell and subscribe button to be notified when the next episode of Caught, presented by Catfish, goes live. See ya.